Hi, good day. This is Ken Lau. Right, I have a students asking me these questions. Right, um, what it does is that it wants to instantly write uh, some if right using VBA code. So for some reason, right, and um, and you can see that this is some if right. And the interesting thing is that right, um, uh, when there's a information added, right, you write some again, right, and um, it it does. Uh, worked in and um and so it goes to here as well right so uh it's kind of like dynamic but we are not using offset right as you can see that there are still a sum if function there right so how do you do a barrette right we have uh write a code like this right it's called it's going to look for right? and uh, it's not just dynamic vertical and horizontally two so uh, we're using the cells functions and uh, we're using formula R1C1, not the formula, not the dot formula. So this is the code, right? And um, it's kind of complicated, but uh, it's of a purpose, right? If you learn R1C1, then you can you have options to advance column to column, right? That's why we have a for loop for advancing column to column. And for each column, we have a row to advancing from one row to another row, right? This is row 3 to 5, which basically means that it's referring here as 3 to 5, right? Of course, there are other methods to use, right? But this is a quick fix on using some if. And um, if you like to follow along, right, you can create this information and use the code that I given below. And thanks for watching. This is Kent Lau. If you like to learn BBA with me, you can always <coughs> contact me. Thank you.